guys, it's Sonia coming on live on this awesome Monday. It's a rainy day Monday here. I gotta tell you, it's already getting dark outside. Like, how crazy is that? We're already into the change of the seasons, which makes it a great time to DIY here in my studio. So I am glad that you are with me. So it's Sonia from Jug Monkey Paint Company, and if you're new on this page, well, I have to tell you, we love to DIY together here Monday through Friday. Typically in the afternoons, it's a little bit of a later day today, but I'm here nonetheless. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a plaid look. This is really cool on furniture, can be used in all kinds of fun designs. Hey Julie, how are ya? Thanks for being the first girl to put her palm up and say hey. Um, so for your furniture designs, for your decor, I mean, I'm gonna show you, I'm just thinking this time of the right now, this time of the year, this season, who loves some plaid? And I just want you to think about all the colors that you can do. I'm gonna show you how I cheat to do it. I pick my favorite Jump Monkey color and how I create, create around one color, okay? Hey, Cammy, how are ya? Chris and Deanna, hello, friends. Hey, Susan, and yes, we'll do some banana bucks today. So hashtag, if you want some banana bucks. All you have to do is share this video while we're live. Uh, share the Jump Monkey love and inspiration today with somebody else out there who just might need some ideas somebody who's looking around their space and going, what can I do with my space to make it beautiful or what can I uh, do with what I've got? So, you guys know I love the DIY, do it on a budget, give you guys some great ideas. And so today is no different, okay? So I created this earlier today. This is a, sun actually maybe I'll go ahead and um, reverse the screen so you can see it. But I'm gonna show you how to create like this plaid look and you can do it in so many different colors. I'll show you how I cheat, what my process is. Maybe everybody else has different ways to do it, but I'm just gonna show you mine because I think it could be really helpful. And uh, I'm just thinking about like, you know, if you just wanna paint, paint something just for the fall season, you can do it with some fun colors and then change it out again. But you can do decor, you can do your pumpkins, like if you're painting pumpkins, whether they're real or whether they're um, on wood or you're doing pumpkin designs and that sort of thing, okay? Hey, Anna, top fan Anna. Hey, Michelle, so let's turn you guys down. Turn it down. Turn it up. All right, so I have just got a piece of plank wood that's been sitting in my basement. You guys know I make use of all my scraps of wood and obviously I love to turn it into something else. Just cannot bear to throw it out. Anybody else like that? You hang on stuff to stuff and you go, I will make something out of that. So it's got like paint on it and stuff, maybe even footprints sometimes. But it's okay, today is its day to get made beautiful. So when we clean up the basement, I'm like, no, don't throw that away. You know what I'm saying, right? So today I'm gonna to use my antique lace for the base. I have to tell you that when I wanna create like bolder classic looks, I use vintage white, but when I want more cozy feel, that's when I grab for my antique lace, which is our, um, our off-white color. And actually there is some white on this, so you might even be able to see if I kinda of put it dab next to it. Do you see the difference? that this is white and this is an off-white color. So, let me go ahead and just put down a layer of this color. But yes, we are doing banana bucks. So, I started to say $20. Um, I will announce somebody's name at the very end of this video who shared and hung out with us. Kate is on the other side. Hello, Kate. Can you see me? Can you hear me? And uh, she's gonna pick a winner for us today. Just somebody who had fun and hung out with us. and. Uh, I will, if you email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com if your name is selected um, and put winner, winner, if your name is announced here at the very end of the project, then you will get a code. Hello, Matt. How are you? Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you like that plaid look that I did earlier today? I this did. Right here? He came I in did. he's like, oh, that's cool, right? Yeah, she's, uh, she's fishing for compliments like because that? I like how you brought that up after I, uh, you had to bring it up because I said about it earlier. You really. liked it. You liked it. All right, so we got a layer of antique lace down, okay? Easy peasy. Who's with me saying, okay, I can do this. I got this step right here. Nothing crazy. So I think today I'm going to create like a gray and black one, and I'll show you what I do. And then all you know is you don't have to go out and buy all kinds of colors and paints. I promise if you have one junk monkey color that you're going to use as your the color like you know your color theme that's all you need so again I just laid out first my coverage of either white typically I do or antique lace but if I want cozy like I said I go to off-white which is our creamy um, antique lace color and if I want it to be not so relaxed does that make sense not so relaxed just the, not so, um, yeah, relaxed, not so cozy, then I'll go with uh, vintage white because it's gonna make it pop more because it's such a bright white, right? You're picking out what I'm laying down? 
Thank you for sharing. Hey, Crystal Fagan, how are ya? Thanks for being here, girl. Heck yeah. Your favorite's antique lace, Cami. Yeah, I gotta tell you, the antique lace is one of our most popular colors. Looks good on cabinets, looks awesome on like fireplaces. You know, you can do your furniture in it and it's such a timeless uh, color that you can change your accent. I could put orange with it. You know, this is actually based on our, or this color is done right here with our crazy eyes. So, you know, you can put so many things and pair it with. That's what's really cool, right? But I gotta tell you, the junk, my, junk Monkey makes it pretty easy because our paint sticks so well. If you paint something in teal color and the next season you're like, okay, I want it more farmhouse. I wanna change up the vibe in here. Just paint right over it, right? It makes it really, really easy. Hey, how are ya? You do? You have race stencil ideas. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. That sounds like my kind of fun. All right, so what I do is I just put down that first layer and now I take a sand pad and I just kind of like, if there's any brush hairs or any imperfections, I just like to get that layer down nice and flat. So I'm just gonna do a nice, like clean polish with my sand block. If you guys followed me on YouTube, you saw that I did a video in the last few weeks about how I reuse sand blocks and make use of them. So there's lots more good information and projects and fun stuff over there too. And let's see, Friday we took you on a walk through Salem with us up in Salem, Massachusetts, which hello, I think that should be on your bucket list. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, so next step, let's go ahead and grab some painter's tape, not duct tape, not scotch tape, not electric tape, okay? Sonia's in your head, you need clean release, okay? And you need painter's tape. So when you get painter's tape, there you stand there by all the bins when you go to like these stores and you're like, what do I need? There are so many different widths and they're good for everything, right? Lots of different projects. But for me, I like when I, this is the way I think about it. If I'm going to be doing a project that involves tape, um, like how wide do I want my plaid to be, okay? If I go smaller than this, then I definitely get more of a checkerboard, more of a style. But I like this, I mean, I'm guessing this is probably an inch and a half wide. What would, what would you guys say compared to this one? You can see the difference, right? So this is more chunky, but if I had a big tabletop, maybe I wanna do big chunky um, squares, right? So just know that the thinner, the smaller your squares for your plaid will be, the wider, the more chunkier. So look at the, the size of your tape to the ratio of your furniture, right? So you don't want big, wide, chunky, um, if, you, if you do put big, wide, chunky um, plaid on top of a table that's smaller, it's gonna feel like it's just out of proportion, right? So this is just a small piece of, um, of just, you know, plank. So this is, you can see how wide this is. Okay, so here is my first tip. Just go somewhere in the middle. You know, if you really want to measure it out, you can. For me, I am just an eyeball it kind of person, so I am going to eyeball it and just stick it down in the middle, okay? So I try to always to remember that when I do my plaid, start in the middle, okay? Start in the middle. Somebody write that down. Put your first layer of your light paint down, and then your tape starts in the middle. Now here is my tip, okay? This is like one of the best tips I'm gonna share with you guys on here today. If you haven't thought about doing this, then I'm just gonna say like, oh yeah, why didn't I think about that? So, you know, sometimes you see me do stripes and sometimes I get out a piece of chalk and I'll measure off like, okay, how wide this is so I know where I need to place my stripes, okay? But I'll show you something else too. Take your tape, another piece, and that can be your guide because guess what? Your tape is how wide? Your tape is how wide your tape is, right? So these are my, my guides. And so now they're my guides too. They're my guys, man, they're helping me out. So now I can take and make my next line by using those taped pieces, okay? Is that a yay or what? Is that like pretty awesome? Yeah, right? It's, Cause sometimes, you know, you forget stuff or you didn't think about that. So that, that is definitely a good tip. So now I can take my guys, which are my guides out and I can again put them right on top just to use them like as a way to be able to keep my lines nice and even. And because I start it in the middle, if I'm trying to get more of an even look, this is why, right? Because when I work my way both ways, it, I should be left with roughly, you know, the same amount. Now this is not quite perfectly square, but you know what? What in life is perfect. So I am a shabby and perfectly perfect kind of painter, so I just love it as it is, right? If the guy at Lowe's didn't cut it straight, oh well, you know? Oh well, life goes on. Life goes on. All right, you see what I'm doing here? That's a whoop whoop, Caitlin. There you go. Caitlin's gonna be making these. Caitlin's my right-hand girl at the shop. 
and uh, she's on here live with us and I'm probably giving her ideas right now. Pretty cool, right? All right, so let's go ahead and use my guide down here. And yay, 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 yay. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Right there. Take my two guide people off right there. They can have a break. Go have a snack. Now make sure that your tape's down good. So do a swoosh of the fingers to make sure. This is another step. Lay your tape down horizontal. Use broken pieces as your guide. And, you know, give your piece a good whoop whoop. And you're looking awesome and mighty fine. I'm going to make sure you're stuck down really, really well. Way to go. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is grab one of my really expensive plates here, you guys. Right? Because I, you know... I'm a big spender here, so I can go all the way to my dollar store and I seriously reuse paints. You guys know that we have paint samples, right, on junkmonkeypaint.com that we just launched. They are hand done and it's so funny because Adam, if you're watching, um, I sold your paint that you were doing samples with for this project, so I just want you to know, all right? So yeah, so come looking for it in my studio tomorrow. So I am going to do a, like a gray black look, okay, plaid today. Remember on this one, you can see it's very rustic orange. Guess what color, guys? I use Crazy Eyes, just the color Crazy Eyes and Antique Lace to be able to create this effect. So you can see the color was Crazy Eyes. This is what it resulted in. So because I want gray black, I am going to go ahead and grab my black velvet, okay? Chalky style paint. It's already made, mixed for you. You just seriously just grab a brush and go bananas. So we're gonna put a little bit down right there, and that is gonna what I'm gonna get started with, okay? So that is the only color I'm gonna use because I'm going with the gray black look. I'm just grabbing my my black velvet, and I'm gonna make that work, okay? And so for you, you can do a teal plaid. What you would need is to lay down your light color, like I say, a vintage white or an antique lace. This would probably be really nice. You can play with colors too, but just get that one can of color to be able to do this, okay? You guys know I'm a big ombre lover, and I do the same sort of thing when I create this look. So I've got my black. That's the most intense color that I want on my plaid. Now I'm gonna go with the same light that I used for my background to scoop some up. Can you see it right here? I'm just gonna scoop a bunch up and put it right there next to my black. All right, because you know that you can lighten any of our colors, right? And that they are made to blend. So what do you get when you put antique lace and black together? Somebody tell me. You can see it. I know you can. This is a paint mixing course, too, all in one. What do you know? We get gray, right? And so instead of having to buy a gray or going to the store and having to buy, you know, thinking that I have to buy multiple colors to create a plaid, all I need is a light and one color that I want to use for the base uh, to be able to be the look of that I'm trying to, to do, right? Hey, Amy, how are you? So make sure your tape's down good, your stripes are down good. And now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and paint in between the lines. Paint in between the lines. This makes it easier Easier if you are not a person that can paint well between the lines. No biggie. No biggie. You can even give this job to your husband. My husband left the room, so I can say that now, right? You still around? He heard. <laughs> Too funny. I can do the distress plaid, too, if I want, by just honestly not even fully covering in this stripe. All right, there you go. Light layer of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and dry it with my heat gun. Magic, Katie says. Heck yeah. Paint magic. Behold the power of paint. You have five projects going on. Oh my gosh, Amy, that's too funny. You're a true creative girl. Ain't that the truth? Man, us creatives, we got like pretty amazing minds. Matt, don't say anything, all right? He's out there going amazing, sure, yeah. We can like, you have no idea. I'm already thinking right now why I'm painting what I'm going to make for supper. Like, yeah, I'm already like in the grocery store shopping right now. And I haven't even left the building, right? Us women, I saw ya. If our husbands only knew all the things that we think about, right? Hey, Judy, you just got a heat gun today, Beth. Oh, that will make your life a whole lot easier. Heck yeah. And if for anybody who's new who wants to know, well, what tools do you recommend if you want to get into painting and decor and kind of like the staples of um, what you need and what can really help your life, if you go over to Junk Monkey Paint and click Sonia's Favorite Things, you'll find my heat gun link there amongst other awesome tools that you see me use regularly. And uh, so that's always a helpful place. All right, so I think we're good. I think we're dry. All right, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
All right, I think just even this part is really fun. I don't know what it is, but seeing like, like it's, you start to get ideas. Like I love, I just do gray stripes over antique lace. Like, hello, I love me that even like blue over antique lace or uh, blue slate. I just think that it's kind of, it's classy, right? It's classy. Anybody else love stripes? Stripes make me happy. I love stripes and patterns all together. Look how nice that is, guys, right there. So one thing you're gonna notice is that with our Junk Monkey paint, it does help you avoid having bleed throughs. It's because this paint has been made with love by me and Matt together and uh, in him helping cater to get a paint that I like to paint with, which is how it started, um, I love to do stencils. And so bleed through is not fun. Bleed through is when like your paint seeps under your stencils or under your tape. And so I love my Junk Monkey paint um, because it helps me avoid bleed throughs, right? So I love that right there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is grab our same tape again, and this time we're gonna go in the opposite direction, okay? And move this over here. You guys follow me so far? All right, so again, I just eyeball it up. I don't get crazy with a cheese whiz or anything like that. I just kinda like go in the middle, pretty much there, pretty much there, that's about it. If you really positively needed it to be absolutely perfect, then just measure it out, right? No biggie. But I'm just an eyeball it kind of girl. I am. I hang pictures on my wall. Anybody else? I mean, you might be the person that gets out the level. I don't know. But that's not me. That's not me. I don't have patience. I just want to get in there and get it done, right? Matt can leave the room, and by the time he comes back looking for a level, don't worry, babe. I already got it. I might have put three holes in the wall, but you know what? We got it. We got it. It's a win. Right, Matt? Just say yes, babe. I said yes. Yep, you got it. You're not See, and I'm not listening to you selective hearing apparently all right there you go thank you for sharing you like the stripes yay so remember those two little guide guys that i showed you in the beginning you know what they're coming out again those guide guys are coming out again but i am thinking like honestly even if you have somebody in your life that can cut you a piece of wood in the shape of a pumpkin how cute would that be i also love well i mean you just saw how to do stripes that was a good tutorial on how to do stripes if you just want to do a buffet and maybe you just want to do the inserts in the door uh, with some stripes on it or across the top right or you want to do uh, an entire plaid look right across the top of your tv stand i mean seriously what places would you use plaid because it doesn't just have to be fall colors like the one you see over here to my side that i did with the crazy eyes you know it can be it can be fun it can be fun all right so we're going for like a probably more of a classic look on this one that one definitely looks more pumpkiny right over here so and more fallish this is definitely you know good for the seasons right all year round so again guide tape goes over here just like that and because we're working our way from the middle out it'll just help us be able to have everything all balanced so like, you know, the same amount, what we got left over here should be roughly the same amount of what we got over here. You know what I'm saying? Or look right at least to your eyes. Yes. Hey, Jan, how are ya? Jan saying a big hello. Hello. All right. Remember, get your tape down good. Use the clean release. Clean release is made so that, you know what, you can peel it back up and it won't take the layer of paint that you have underneath it. So there we go. There we go. Nice and good. And now we're ready for the next color to go on top of this, okay? So here's what I do. Same tray, same tray, same brush. And I take another scoop of my antique lace and I put into this, all right? Because, I'm going to ask the same question again, what happens when you put, um, you know, white into black, or in this case a cream, you get a lighter color. So when you guys say to me, do you have a specific color of Junk Monkey? Just know that our paint is made with such rich pigments that you can blend them so easy. You can add water if you really need to thin it out, but you start with a beautiful consistency um, to be able to, to get whatever look you want, right? So now can you see the difference on here? I've got black and then I add a little bit of antique lace and I got more of a, like a charcoal color. And now I put more of the antique lace into it and now I have this gray color right here, even lighter. I could even add a little bit more if I want. I mean, it's up to me just to kind of show you. I, so I can just keep adding some more into it. I'm not even changing out my brush because I'm a low maintenance kind of painter, okay? I wanna get it done. 
Like, I might be painting while I'm making supper, okay? I just want to get it done before supper or whatever the case is. I just want to get it done. I just do. Just get in there and make it happen. You guys, look at that. How pretty, right? All right, so let's pull a little bit off the edge because you know what I always say when you use stencil. In this case, we're going between the lines here, and the tape is like a stencil, just less is more, okay? So now we're going to use that gray color to go on top of here. So now those stripes go with a gray in between real quick real quick I mean you could do this behind your toilet in your bathroom if you want to have a plaid wall oh my gosh I mean I'm just thinking if you did a black plaid wall even in your bathroom leading up to Christmas before you know it you got a beautiful wreath on there and you know gorgeous right absolutely gorgeous so you can like take this look and you can apply it wherever you want to apply it so there you go and now look at that right there all over so now let me go ahead and dry this part out. Yes, Julie, I paint while I'm making supper. I am a, an offender, okay? I am. Um, true story. You get painted and you just don't wanna put the paintbrush down sometimes, right? And you say, I'm almost done, I'll be right in. You know, or, you know, just give me a second. I already know what I'm making for supper. And your husband, before you know it's like, are you starting supper or what? Yes, I told you I'd do it. You know, but I gotta finish this one part first. Hey, Pam. I do. I like to do projects that I can get done quickly and beautiful projects that, um, oh, I just, I don't know. Maybe I have no patience, but I like stuff to be able to come together quickly. I like, I like seeing results quickly, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're drying it really good. Drying it really good. All right, make sure, oh, that little part down there needs to get dried. Let's do that right there. Thank you for sharing, Brittany, I appreciate that. Giving lots of people good ideas today. And if you guys do some, um, you know, some plaid, I'd love to see it. If you're working with Junk Monkey and you wanna be part of our Junk Monkey community, just look for Junk Monkey Paint Projects on Facebook. It's our group, and we have over 3,000 painters in there. And if you want to get inspired, my friends, I'm just going to tell you, you know why DIY here daily, but there's a whole lot of you wonderful people out there as well. And so I think you should uh, definitely join the group. You'd love it. Are you in here lying? What? Are you in here lying? Why? What part? About me making supper? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's funny how she knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never made supper in my life. Come on, tell the truth. All right. He is a chef. Luckily, he does most of the cooking, but don't let him fool you. There's days the chef don't even want to cook. All right, so there we go. So you see that I, I've got the stripes now going in the opposite direction. Now, believe it or not, I actually keep those, keep that green tape on at this step. So keep the green tape on from your last set of stripes. And now you can actually see, if you were up close, I could actually see the ridges because I've got two layers of paint on one area. Or you can put your, your guides back down again if you really want to do that. But at the end of the day, what you need to do now is cover over what you've already done. Like, I'll show you. Let me see. Let me peek. Let me get, kind of help you out here. Give me how a much, second here. Somebody asked how much the heat comes. Ooh, do you see that right there? Do you see how it's starting to come together? So we keep this, we keep this down, okay? Definitely want to keep this down. Heat guns typically are what? Um, Anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. Yeah, you're right. I would definitely say you're right. Did I just say you're right? Oh my god, I think I said you're right. All right, now we go. We're going to cover back over the ones that we painted before again, okay? And my calculations are correct. We should be good. All right, so, but I don't get all crazy. I mean, if you really wanted to mark them out, you could, but I'm not bothering to do that because I can see them where the imprint was left. All right, got it? Got it good? So basically, where your stripes were in the beginning, now you finish off with the bottom, but you're finishing them off with the other last layer of tape left on. All right, let me see here. All right, there we go. So three layers of tape in total. All right, now do you remember how I said, do you all remember how I said, let me see here that um, I'm doing a black and gray look for this, right? So I don't have to intensify the last little black that I have here. I don't have to do anything with it. Now I'm even gonna take that same brush 
and just dip right back into my black that I started with to create this look. So do you see how what happens is your colors all work together great because they're all created from the one base color. So you don't have to worry about are they gonna match? Did I pick the right you know colors to bring together? And so now what we do is we just paint those lines right there. So you see that? Three layers of tape, each going in the opposite direction on top of each other, back and forth, just like this. Matt, you got it? What? Have you been following along? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking There's going to be a test on I'm this. I'm running a business email. Listen, yeah, I, I just want you to know. There's going to be a mm -hmm. test on this. All right, and there we go. Let's get that bottom corner. All right. Boom, shakalaka laka. That's what I say. Boom, shakalaka. Really? Boom, shakalaka. Really? All right. What? Really? I mean, really. Sometimes I will just kind of like give a quick dry over just real fast, not too long, just to help because, you know, you'll, you don't want to dry it while your tape is on because what will happen is it'll be hard to peel it off. But sometimes I just do that just to, to help it. So when I start touching it, it's start, starting to already be in place. So you can just walk away, come back, whatever you got to do. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so remember, we got our last layer on here. Did you do it right? What do you mean, did I do it right? Do you, you not have faith in me or what? I didn't say that. I Come just on now. You did it right. I hope I did it right. It's like a wrapped present. We never know until we take them all off, right? But yeah, just keep doing your um, back and forth. Yeah, because sometimes you can get confused with your striping and you're like, what? Lucky for you, you have this video to refer back to, right? If you share the video, it does also apply on your, or stick onto your timeline. So that way, when you guys message going, Sonia, where was that tutorial that you did on how to do plaid? I'm going to be like, did you share it? Because if you did, if you go right back to your timeline, you're going to be able to find it. So that's awesome. All right. So now we take the stripes off that go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys seeing it come to life? Are you picking up? Oh, yeah. Oh, what color plaid would you do? Would you do a teal river one, mermaid um, tail, red apple, whatever you need, all right? And then these were all your, your sticky down tapes, so throw those out, you're good to go. So, I mean, I'm just thinking, fourth quarter here with all the holidays we have coming up, you could do something pumpkin, you could do something that's just more rustic with plaid, right? Or you could just even do your furniture and stuff with it and make it year round or just just use my technique to do some great striping with it right all right let me go ahead and dry this out real fast and i'll show you what i the rest of what i do all right now i did find this wooden cutout at um my local walmart for a couple bucks there's my fingerprint eh, it's okay if i really cared about it i could just paint that little block right there because i touched it with my finger but i am a Hand painted shabby lover, you know what I'm saying? So it's totally fine. All right, so you can see, right, like how you can just do different looks. And do you see the blocks? How the different, so I have three, what looks like three different colors. I have the lighter gray, the darker gray, and then the black. And then, of course, my white background. This would be fun with red. Can you imagine if you did this with like black? Um, I'm even thinking like black and red apple and antique lace. That would be a beautiful combo if you want to get all crazy. All right, let me go ahead and dry this real quick so we can finish it off. Yes, you do, Rhonda. You need some paint, girl. Go get some. This is the season to paint. It is a rainy, getting dark kind of day here. And you know what? Have supper and then sit around the table and just do some stuff. Like get your gifts ready. Start working on your... Sorry guys, I had a phone call. Who calls in the middle of DIY time? I don't know. They can't know me very well. Hey Jan, you found out. Woohoo! Jan's getting a Hobby Lobby. Look out now, we'll never see her again. Never see her again, and neither will her friends or family, or if she has a spouse, her spouse. It's all over now. I just want you to know, if you're listening in the background, say goodbye to Jan. All right, there we go. So I like to distress on top of when I paint. So I'm gonna grab a sand block. These are on my website as well. And now, I really like the stress. 
Who's ready to play checkers? You not? We went to, uh, what's it called? Dave and, uh, Dave and, is Dave and Buster's? Dave and Buster's. Okay, what's the ice cream? Ben and Jerry's. I almost said Ben and Jerry's. Just didn't feel right. Dave and Buster's yesterday. I went there for the very first time. Had a blast. I love me some Pac-Man. By the way, I just want you to know that you are in the graces of the high rating champion for uh, Pac-Man. Yes. So I got to put my name at the very top, although my time limit only allowed me to put S-O-N-I. So if you go to the one in Pittsburgh, that's me. All right. Yep. Proud to have beat out all those other children to be the top rating Pac-Man queen. I'm just saying. <clears throat> just saying. Don't judge me. All right. Just putting it out there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is grab my same brush. You guys know I love to do edging and antiquing. So I'm going to show you what I would do as well if I turn this into a sign. Because I just don't want these um, edges to just feel like kind of just open and like little, not so cozy, you know. Plaid is definitely has a cozy feel to it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my, uh, in this case, over here I edged in our candy bar brown and I splashed some on the edges of the lettering right. here as well. And now I'm gonna do the round the edges with black on this one because this one's done in a black and gray look, right? GM thought you were gonna say I got the high score. No me! Can you imagine? Yes. I got the high score at Hawk Rahash yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right. Had some German food. You know what? I did play Connect Four with Matt and we were going for a while and I'm like, this game is gonna be you know, it's going to end up with both of us, you know, what do you call it? Like a wash, right? Yeah. No. And last moment, he pulled out some good Connect Four moves on me and managed to beat me. Yes, he did. And I'm admitting it, all right? Love Connect Four. I love checkers. Anybody else pl uh, grew up playing those games? We spent a lot of time at the cabin. And of course, you know, you take snowmobile, you go to the cabin, you're there for the weekend. And so you bring, like, cards with you and... You know, um, I wasn't, I never played chess. My son tried to help me uh, play, learn chess as he got older. God love him. He got frustrated. He got very frustrated with trying to teach me chess because I'm a checkers player, right? And uh, yes, he doesn't like to teach his mother chess apparently. So we gave up. We gave up. Bless his heart. We gave up. So, yeah. So now I'll just stick with Connect Four and checkers. Chinese checkers is a big one when I was growing up. China. Is that the ones that have like, yeah. uh, they look like X's? No, 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 no. It's the one with marbles. Yeah. I don't know how to play that one. Yeah. Don't know. Who knows how to play Chinese Well, Chinese. Jai. She brought that up. What's that? Jai. Oh. Oh, somebody's saying that that's what they played? Yeah. Oop, I just wiped some of that there. It's okay. Let's dry that. So you can pull in, by the way, you can pull in. You can start like to pull your brush over the edge of it just to kind of like pull it towards the center and you'll get some of those really cool brush marks. This is really good if you love rustic and you really want to play it up. Um, oh, I love it. I love it. We could even paint something on the center. You know what I mean? What would you put on there? Paint on a word on there. Anything you want, right? Jenga. Oh, I like Jenga. Yes. I love Jenga. What was the song that was Jenga? Was it you put a... I can't remember. Oh, somebody knows the Jenga song. I used to sing it all the time. Isn't it you take a block from the middle and you put it on top? You take a block from the something something. Is that right? That's how you build a tower. You just don't stop. You got to start all, start all over putting blocks on top. Wasn't that Jenga? Or, or do you not want to even say that you're my husband right now? Okay, I, I think the silence says, Matt doesn't like it when I sing. Apparently not, right? Jenga rap? Is that what it was, Katie? Listen, somebody else, tell me I'm not crazy and that you two heard that song. Because Matt's going to let me hang right here. Let's see. You got to find something to paint. Oh, girl, go to your thrift store. You will love it. And then pick up anything. Anything you want to paint. What do you need? Or paint something you already have in your house. You know what I mean? That's all I gotta do. Alright, I'm just erasing that line a little bit right there because I smudged some paint that wasn't dry. But that's totally okay. Judy, 20 years we've been together. 20 years! And it feels like what? A hundred. A hundred. For me, not him. Just saying. 
<laughs> he loves me. Don't, don't let him fool you. All right, let's grab some monkey shine and seal it up, okay, guys? Seal it up. Just like Matt wishes sometimes I would seal my lips with all the loveliness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use monkey shine, which is our all-natural um, beeswax polish, sealer, and my brush. And now we make it pop. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see how nice this is? Can you see how nice this is? 23, 20, sorry, 38 years of marriage next month, Rebecca. Did you see that, babe? Yeah, 38 years of marriage. Somebody give that woman a medal, you know? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt says. Congratulations. It was our friendversary on Facebook this week. 11 years, ma'am. 11 years friends on Facebook. Now, that's where it really counts. That's where it counts. Right there. That should be part of the vows nowadays, right? You know, um, you know, sickness and in health, um, through Facebook drama, you know, all that sort of stuff, right? <laughs> oh, good. You'll love it if you do. So once you put the monkey shine on with the, with the brush, you saw me go in circles. And what that does is it pushes it down into the paint pores. And now I come in with my uh, white buffing cloth. They're on the website as well. And now what I can do is the same sort of uh, motion in circles. And then what it does is it takes off any of that waxiness that might have some dust into it. And uh, I turn my rag over and I will go at it again, okay? Go at it again. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. And my sides aren't quite dry yet, so I'm not gonna, typically I will go over the edges as well, but just for this purposes, we don't have to worry about that. And look how nice that came out. So today, in today's class, which remember, Friday, it's Monday through Friday, catch me on here DIYing, and guys, guess what? Tomorrow I'll get a load of furniture. Furniture, oh, and that happens to open up. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting into some furniture. I know it's gonna be so good, Matt, can you stand it? All right, so there you go. Yeah, some yeah, ideas yeah. for inspiration today, right there. And uh, yeah, right? So good because she doesn't have to lift it. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. Yes, I got strong man, man in my life, and muscles. It's going to be wonderful. He's going to help me. Ooh, got a winner on this. Family no is facing the right way. You're just seeing it on the video. Yes. Yes, because I'm in selfie mode. It's like looking, for me, it's like looking in a mirror, okay? Like when you stand in, in your mirror to brush your teeth, because my phone is facing me, it's the same thing. So it just projects back on me, all right? But uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. I promise I know how to spell the right way. Let me see here. Let me see here. I'll help you out. There you go. See how that flipped over? Cool, right? Just makes it weird for me, but probably better for you. There you go. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. So, can't wait to see what colors you guys do. That would be so awesome. All right, thanks, Lisa. All right, so I've got a winner here. Kate's been on with me, all right? Right on the horse here with me. And she's got a name for me. Judy. Fuentes. Fuentes. J-U-D-I-F-U-E-N-T-E-S. Girl, how do you say it? Fuentes. Fuentes. I think that's how I said it. Girl, you are the big winner today. Right there. Right there. Okay. All right. So, somebody let Judy know. Or if she's here, that'll be so awesome too. All she's got to do is email me at junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. No, I lied. Junk monkey paint, yeah, at gmail.com. <laughs> winner, winner in the subject line, and do it before midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight, and I will email you back a code so that you can go to junkmonkeypaint.com and use your $20 in banana bucks for something that you want to try, like get your color. Remember, you just need one color for these, right? There you go. Just on scrap wood, you can put it on whatever you want. Woohoo! All right, well, that was fun. All right, time for you guys to go paint. You got this. I know you got this. What would Sonia say? Go find something to paint. Go find something to paint. All right. Matt supports this message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if he stands there too long, I just might paint him. All right. We're going to go home for supper. See you guys again tomorrow. Bye, Donna. See you, Jeanette. See ya.